morning, Yarna Bees. How are you today? <sighs> I'm in my house coat. I'm so sorry. I it's be morning. It's before I'm going to work. And uh, <sighs> I'm having a hard time getting going today. <laughs> it's like, eek. Um, <sighs> I haven't chatted with you for a little bit. So let's chat. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> um, it's just after the long weekend, Canada long weekend. We had Victoria Day week long weekend. And yeah, <laughs> interesting weekend. Well, it was, it, I still only got my one day off. I didn't have a long weekend. Oh, so, <clears throat> um, we usually have someone come in and do our yard work because I, I can't do it, you know, so he hasn't shown up. So Bailey didn't even want to go pee. She was just like, yeah, not going. It's, it's like a jungle. Like she's trying to weed, go through all this grass and stuff. And she was just not having it. So I decided in my infinite wisdom that George was what was going to call his son and get the lawnmower. And we were going to do this ourselves because how hard could it be? <laughs> yeah. So I spent my Monday um, doing the yard work, but I, I started doing the front yard. I'm telling you guys, the grass was like, this long. It was ridiculous. The lawnmower was having a really hard time getting through it. And, uh, the struggle was real. My back hated me. George was bitching at me saying, you can't be doing too much. And, rah, rah, rah. and I'm like, um, he was at the time he was cleaning out the hot tub. So <clears throat> I was just like, um, like it was a gas mower and I couldn't pull the, the string thing to get it going so he had to do that for me and then it would die because the grass was too long and it would it was just ridiculous and then it I don't know what happened but the pull cord wouldn't come out and I was like oh god we broke the machine <laughs> so I <sighs> we figured okay I took the weed whacker and I weed whacked <clears throat> the front yard. Yeah. Um, our weed whacker, it was weird. It's like a handle here and then a handle on the side. And you go back and forth, right? I did that for like an hour. <sighs> my back was kicking my butt. And my arms, like it, my arm still hurts. It's like, oh my God. Um so anyways, I weed whacked the front, uh, and then George was going to weed whack the back for me because I just couldn't do it. <clears throat> um, then I, I forgot that we had bought this hedge trimmer. Wonderful tool. <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, I get to use my hedge trimmer for the first time. So we plugged it in and I was like, and I'm just like, oh, this is so much fun. It's like, I was like a kid. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing all the bushes and everything. And then George yells at me and he says, how you doing? I was like, what? Uh oh, <laughs> I had cut through his 40 foot power cord that he uses for work and I turned it off and he looked at me and he went no <laughs> I was like you shouldn't have distracted me <laughs> he was like I need that for work tomorrow <laughs> I'm like I'm so sorry but he's like he's just like oh man and he walks away and I'm 
inside I'm laughing my head off and I he's and I also um tripped the power uh, tripped the power to the house so he had to go downstairs and um trip the breaker or put the breaker back on while he's downstairs I'm belly laughing and I'm just like oh my god I can't believe I just did that and so at the time I thought it was really funny now I'm going, oh, sheesh. He just had to spend another $40 to get a new power cord. And I was like, oh, thank God it wasn't one of the other ones that he has to have custom made. Like he has these 50 some odd foot power cords for his machines that he has custom made. And they are like over $100 cords. Like, thank God it wasn't one of those. I would have threw up. But <clears throat> yeah, so that thing just... It cuts through butter, man. It was like, I didn't even feel it until it stopped working. And I went, looked down and went, oh, crap. <laughs> it was, I, um, I was like, don't distract me. Don't just leave me alone. Let me do my thing. <laughs> I was like, wow. You know, and then I went, <clears throat> when we got it going again, he says, please don't go through this one. <laughs> I was like don't distract me. <laughs> so I started going again and I, I went and did the tra the, the hedge that's right up against the house because I was just like, I, I didn't want it touching the house. Right. And, um, so I started going through that and I realized, wait a minute, what is that? And it's actually, I couldn't believe it. It's a, a water spout that comes out of the house. I right at the, on the front of the house. And I was like, I didn't even know that was there last um, last year. If you guys remember seeing my wedding video, <clears throat> I put these uh, I, Tia and I made these boxes um, of can't even remember what they're called. They're little white, tiny white flowers. But anyways, we planted a whole bunch of them for the wedding. And so when the wedding was over, I put them on the steps going down our front um, stairs. But I had no way of watering them, right? So I had to go and get a uh, couple, um, ah! no, <clears throat> we have these um, big ah! uh, measuring cups. So here I am with a measuring cup. And dumping it in, going and get another one, dumping it. I thought, this is ridiculous. So I just let them die. Right? I had no idea that we had a spout out there. I thought it was kind of weird that the house didn't have a spout out in the front. Yes, it did. <laughs> so that was a new revelation. So I was like, oh, yay, now I can have flowers out in the front. <laughs> so, so that was interesting. But, um, I found out that the hedge trimmer actually goes through blackberry bushes quite easily. And I was like, oh, now we can do the blackberry bushes out in the back. So this this weekend, we're on my day off. That's what we're going to do. Um, but my back, my like, mm -mm. I have to really be careful because if I mess up my back, I can't go to the shop. And so I have to really think on things. Um, but I pushed myself and it's my back's okay. It's my arms. Oh, you know, like when you've done too much and you've pulled all the muscles and everything in your arms, you can't really bend your arms this way very well. So crocheting was not an option. Um, my finger, you can see I've got arthritis in this finger. This finger hurts so much all the time. I got some compound cream from the doctor that doesn't do squat for me and it costs a hundred dollars. Um, everybody's been telling me, you know, try Voltaren. That doesn't do anything. Um, <clears throat> I've tried a bunch of stuff, but you can see even the tip of my finger is all red. It's like, it, it just, oh, it hurts. So when I'm crocheting, like this wakes me up at night and, um, it's, it's not fun, <laughs> uh, but I try to do a little bit of crochet, but when I get home from work, um, I get home probably about six o'clock and then I got to make dinner. And by the time I'm done, I'm so tired. I can't do much. So I have not been crocheting very much. Um, I did take 
I, you guys probably know, remember this project that I was doing. Wherever the heck it is. This one. Oop. This one. Um, I'm almost finished it. Uh, I found, I got my sister to try it on and I found out that I did this really wide. So it, it actually goes down to the bend of your elbow already. So I did just a little sleeve, right? So this is like just a little sleeve to get it. Then it comes down to about here. And once I finish the second one and I get it all together, then I get to get her to try it on again. And see, I don't think I want to put a cuff on it because it's a really light garment. So I may just leave it the way it is. Um, but I, I, I love this stitch. I really do. Um, I'm, I don't know if I do a tutorial, it will probably be, um, for a garment because I feel weird about doing a tutorial on somebody else's stitch. Like, I don't know if she came up with the stitch. I don't know if, if it's a stitch that's been around for a while. Like I have no idea. But I just feel weird about it. Like, I don't know. But it is a really nice stitch, right? <clears throat> I've already made a sweater out of it. I posted the... See? I posted the... Um, the original tutorial for it. Uh, but um, it's, it's a really easy, easy stitch. And it has such an amazing effect. Like it's so squishy and so airy. The sweater that I did had, I had two strands. This is just one. This is one strand and it's so nice. Um, this would make a great Rowana. Um, yeah, but I'm using, what am I using? Colorama Halo and Sweet roll, sweet roll, frosty. Yeah, so I did like this here. This is sweet roll frosty, and this is the Colorama Halo. So, yeah. Oh, I dropped it. Oh. Um. So yeah, once I get that finished, I'll show you guys. I'm almost done. Almost done. Oh, you know, I've got the. One project that I was working on, um, oh, I didn't even tell you, I didn't tell you guys what it was for. I'm, I was making a shawl that's going to have, um, it's going to look like feathers. I started that for Lisa from Lisa's Crochet is doing a cowl, hashtag BFF, oh gosh. BFF T BFF. I'll put it here. Um, and it's supposed to be done in June. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to get it done because I'm doing it in the feather stitch and I just haven't had a lot of time. Um, today is the first day that they're doing the farmer's market across the street from where our shop is. I am hoping and praying that it draws business to the building that we're in. <clears throat> we're having a really hard time right now trying to get customers in because they still think that it's a grocery store or an abandoned building. Um, I've been doing as much advertising as I can, but they, when they do walk in, they're like, Oh, I didn't even know this was here. So, I, I'm really, really hoping that this is going to bring somebody in. We're having a hard time getting the manager or the owner of the building to put new signage up on the building. Um, she's a busy lady. She has a pub as well. And she has another business. I can't remember what. And her husband has a construction business. So we've kind of been put on the wayside. And... 
<sighs> so I'm going to get a sandwich board made. Um, I'm not sure when. I just paid uh, $130 to have a little sign made up for my shop. I posted that on <clears throat> my Facebook group uh, or on my my Spirit Raven uh, page. That link is down below as well if you want, if you're interested. Um, so, yeah, my rent for the space is about to come up. So I have to <clears throat> wait a little bit to be able to get that sandwich board. So, yeah. So once I got that, hopefully it'll bring people in. I'm not doing too badly right now considering that I'm a new business. But I would like to be doing a lot better. Um, on that note, uh, I was going to tell you guys, I've had a couple of comments um, asking, you know, if you guys wanted to purchase something, how you do that. Okay. You guys are allowed to purchase things from my shop. All right. If you hop on over to my Facebook page for my Spirit Raven, I do updates on there of the things that I am getting into the sh in the shop. I do updates on whatever I've made that is going into the shop. Um, and you, if, yeah, you just pay for the garment, pay for the shipping, and I will ship it off to you. Um, I will also do some unboxings on here just so that you guys can see firsthand. You guys get first look, really, of the stuff that's coming in. Um, I did notice something that I've lost a few subscribers since I've been posting about my shop. I want to know, comment down below. Do you not want to hear about the shop? Do you not want to see the unboxings? Um, do you want me to just leave this as a crochet channel? Um, because I don't want to lose subscribers if that's what's happening. Um, if you're interested, maybe I'll just keep all that content over on my Facebook page if, if you guys aren't interested, but leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts because I don't want to put content out there that you guys don't want to see. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, what else? I don't know. I gotta get ready for work. I'm procrastinating. <laughs> ah, okay, guys. I love you tons and tons. Thank you so much for all of your support and love. Um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, oh, um, another thing. I may be getting rid of my mailbox, my P.O. box. It just doesn't get used enough and I don't want to fork out all that money if it's not getting used. So um, I will probably be taking that off my, excuse me, off my channel. Um, I don't, I don't get enough mail to warrant uh, having it, to be honest. So um, yeah, so I'll probably be taking that off if, if it, you know, yeah, anyway. <laughs> just not even going there okay uh so yeah i guess i'll talk to you guys later love you all Mwah. okay bye